Her sitter Lorenz Tendam. Han satt da i favorittgruppa. Da ser vi det. Så ser vi hva som skjer. Det er ene Edvald Boasson Hagvin, sånn som han gjorde det i... Oh, det er en krasj. Og det er Tendam, jeg tror. Ja. And he's fallen on his face by the look of it. Lawrence Tendam has gone down, overshot that corner, really feels a bit stunned here. And that's really strange, Phil, because in fact I saw O'Grady put his hand down. They weren't going flat out down that descent. And there's the doctor alongside him quickly. Very nasty crash. He came aside the road and then he couldn't couldn't control his bike and he, he went over. So it was a little bit yeah, stupid crash, a little bit bad road also, so maybe because of that he went off the road. He finished the race, so he was was good with his head and he was, but uh, he had some some wounds and pretty bloody uh, everywhere. And his uh, big problem was his nose. Was so we have to see if it if he can start tomorrow or not? Because he's already been to the hospital. Uh. Yeah, yeah, just after the race they took him in the. Um, to, to the hospital after the finish. Our doctor went with him, so when he comes back, we know more. Laurens de Dam, uh, goedemorgen. Hoe is het met je? Ja, na omstandigheden gaat wel. Lichamelijk is alles goed. Ik heb natuurlijk een opgezollen gezicht. Ik hoop dat de zwelling over een dag of twee uh, weg is. Even terug naar gisteren. Wat is er precies gebeurd met je? Gevallen in de afdaling van uh, de ANJS. Of, zo, ja. En met mijn hoofd op een paar stenen, dus vandaar die snijden om. En nu je gaat starten, uh, wat denk je ervan? Oh, vandaag uh, gewoon de finish halen en morgen hebben we de rustdag. En dan uh, zien we daarna nou wel weer verder hoe het in de Alp is. Dus uh, nee, ja, ik ga starten en onder voorbehoud uh, dat het niet gaat bloeden onderweg. Anders uh, moet ik de auto in. Ja, want het, het, je gezicht is het enige wat je hebt? Ja, in principe wel. Niks gebroken. Dus, uh, dus de benen doen het nog? Ja, als dan wel. Ja. This is Lawrence Ten Dam here, back at the doctor's car. They printed pictures of all of the crashes in yesterday's Lake Keep newspaper. And we saw this man, who had eight stitches in his nose, and he's having it checked out, a little bit more cream on it, uh, by the doctors here. It was a spectacular crash he had. Well, the reason the doctor's actually putting that cream on there, Phil, is uh, to stop the, the rain and the dirt getting into that wound to, to yeah. create an infection. A great job of work done by that doctor, who stops at the side of the road all of the time to look after these professional bike riders. And his uh, crash was a very horrendous crash. He was going down the descent. Yeah. He uh, got off the road and he uh, was trying to control it. Then all of a sudden he went right over the top of the handlebars and landed on his face. I thought with that, the severity of that accident, Phil, I did not think that he would get himself back up. He got back up, finished the stage, and he's still in the race today. Brave man. He spent most of his nights in the hospital in Foix. Uh, but then he, uh, when they stitched him up and he was all good, they sent him back home to his hotel and he just got up and rode his bike next day, as they all do. Uh, I just uh, I just saw him <laughs> coming back after a bad crash and, uh, and uh, I just asked how he felt and if he knew who he was <laughs> and because he, he looked really bad. And is it true you gave him a little help the last K? I just pushed him a little bit. Uh, I think he of course he had a hard time on the bike and uh, and uh, with the conditions like this uh, I think he should be in the hospital but uh, I mean he... he uh, He's fighting hard and wants to be on the bike, so it's impressive. Dat is een beetje nooit al weg. Dat is het belangrijkste, morgen rustdag. En uh, ja, die zwelling zal wel minder worden. Kijk, uh, ik zie mezelf gelukkig niet. Ik zie me veel mensen schrikken, vooral gisteren uh, op die berg. Maar uh, ja, die zwelling zal wel minder worden. En dan, uh, dan zal het eten ook wel weer beter gaan. En uh, de benen die zijn nog net zo goed als, uh, als van tevoren, denk ik. How are you feeling? You've been very brave. I mean, it's incredible you here. Yeah, no, but uh, yeah, I feel tired. Of course, after three weeks tour, but uh, to recover from the injuries, it's it's hard, and I haven't found the legs yet. I had before the crash, but I stay tough, hang on, and get to Paris. That's the most important for me right now. I mean, everybody around the world was amazed how brave you were, you know, to carry on and to finish that day and to carry on. Yeah, that's true, but. If I if I would be at home right now, I would be depressed. I think I'm happy I'm still here. All the Dutch fans are in the Alps and uh, looking forward to uh, to pass them. They're cheering me to uh, to the finish. And maybe today is better than yesterday. You still uh, <laughs> keep the faith. Huh? 
and they say from the last climb of the tour you can see Paris. So yeah. you know from out the west you should be able to see. Paris. Yeah, yeah. From there it's not that far anymore. Eh? Just a uh, just a time trial and uh, and uh, last stage would be uh, that if if I reach out the rest, so for sure you reach Paris too. Thank you.